Hello everybody. This Hello. is the weekly heat. I'm wearing a oh, hoodie. Oh dear me. What's going on here? Oh wow, you could drive a car through those holes in the hair there, huh? Hello! Get excited. Ah! Hang on. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, the weather is starting to cool a little bit. I'm a bit under the weather. Yeah. Um, I, I was sick last week, and then I thought I was better, and then we did the compost bins, and I tried to make a teepee, and now I'm sick again. I've been asleep half the day, guys. I've been asleep half the day, guys. Sorry but about the lighting, but we thought you might want to see the... We're trying to... Change it up a little since it's not 9,000 degrees out here. I know. Yeah. It's actually been really cold. Like at night time, I've had my Uggs and my long pants and a hoodie. Yeah. Hey, look at you and your hoodie. We shut the doors last night. I hate the doors shut. I feel like we're like Gonna trapped. get attacked by robbers. And just trapped. Like, we sleep with the doors open every night. I think one other night we slept with the door shut. Because there was a super big storm blowing around. Yeah. I don't like it. <clears throat> I quite like it. It's like being in the caravan at home all cozy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, we did the compost and heard from Bill... That I'm a jackass and could have done that without going to Home Depot. So... So, as usual, we're idiots. Yeah, what we could have done was just take some of the broken pieces of wood and just 45 them on the corners, on the tops. I don't know why I never even thought of that. I thought about the L-brace things and we just didn't think about the cheaper version, did we? Idiots. Oh, well, they weren't expensive, were they? Well, no, but I mean... I know it's unnecessary yeah, spec, it's just, expenditure, though. It's not just the expenditure, it's the trip. I mean, we got other stuff... Yeah, we needed other stuff as well. ...that we're going to be doing on that. Like, I got um, hinges and latches for the gate and... We've got, like, a little garden gate to put in. But the staples were the wrong size for the stapler, so i got to take those back. But um, that will be, like, a complete enclosed area yeah. yeah we've got like a little fence around there which is pretty crappy at the minute but we're gonna um I got staple posts. it yeah to the to the um pallets yeah um, and um it's only tiny little wire that we got free isn't it but yeah. it's enough to stop the dogs getting in and eating all the gross stuff which is yeah and yes there'll be other gross stuff in there but i'd rather they just got on with what they needed to do as long as we're careful when we're um, digging through it. Um, earlier today, uh, me and Fred went for a walk and we went to where we buried Gizmo and his collar that we had on a rock was gone. And I was like, whoo, and spent some time looking around and I found little pieces of it, like the buckle bit and then, um, a bit with some of the studs on it. So, it looks like rats ate the um, collar. It's like a little leather collar, wasn't it? Yeah. Um. So, um, I went and got those and then kind of fixed everything up and put everything back. And then um, Fred was like slowly pawing at the dirt. It was kind of sad. It is sad. Yeah. I don't know if he understands what happened, really. It's a bit weird. Yeah. But, um, what was I going to say? I, I want to make, like, a little marker for him and stuff, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Yeah. I've got my wood carving stuff, which I'm sure I could carve his name out and things yeah. and do it like that. Just nothing special, just like a little marker Oh, like marker total old-timey. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be awesome. With yeah. the wood carving spoon thing? Or yeah. the Oh, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, I want to do something, and I want to put one for Sal as well up there. Yeah. Well, so we can go and sit up there. We'll get that like a proper nice little area eventually that we can 
fence off so things can't get in there. Yeah. I mean, big little things will still get in there, but well, I'll feel a little bit better if it's a separate little fenced area. Yeah. Be nice. And then um, I tried to put the TP up this morning because it wasn't very windy. And I realized that I had the opening towards where the wind blows. So I'm like, ah, I should fix this before I get any farther along. And in trying to, like, pull the tarp around, the whole thing fell down on top of me. <laughs> so I didn't see this. If I had, I would have been recording it. Yeah, so I'm kind of pissed off. But I'm going to... Uh-huh. It's just that the tarp is really thick and... The PVC is really flimsy because it's you need some proper three quarter. Wood. Yeah, I know. Duh. I was trying to do it with stuff that we had. I yo. know. I understand. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, yo. Um. So I'm gonna just get some poles, like wooden poles, and do it. So there's that. Um, and then. What else has happened? Oh, I started painting the kiddie pool. I don't know if you can even see it. But then I ran out of paint. So, typical me doing something. Well, it's better that you're doing something. Yeah. I want to get just some cheap outdoor, like, sand-colored paint and paint all the compost. Well, what I was going to do, I was painting that, and I'm like, I should just be kicking dirt up on it. And the sand would probably stick to the paint. Mm. I don't know if it would to its spray paint. Look at this. I got more mayflies on me. What day is it? It's September. Friday. It, it's September though, and we still have mayflies. <laughs> Actually, though, we were talking about this, and we. Well, I decided it wasn't <sighs> such a bad thing after all that we came in the summertime. Because it's given us a chance to witness the, like, hottest part of the year, to know what it's like and know what we can and can't do in that time. Yeah. You know? And now we're actually... And also, that was the time that we've come here and we genuinely didn't have any means to be building anything just yet. As you know, we've, we've kind of just made do as we've gone along. But as things progress, this is actually moving to the best time. Now we've acclimatised a little bit and we've got into a routine and we know what's going on a bit better and where things are. We're actually at a time in the year that we've probably got a good six months ahead of us where we can actually get out and do stuff every day. So that's yeah. very encouraging. Yeah. Because, like, knowing... I think there's actually going to be like two thirds of the year that we can actually do stuff and a third of the year that is like or maybe three quarters and a quarter of the year that we can't like physically be outside as much you know what I mean but the rest of the time we can actually be outside building and doing stuff and be more productive so it's not it's not a bad thing that we came when we did, even though it felt like it was at the time. We've actually got through the hottest part of the summer. Yeah. Um, this week it's supposed to be in the 80s, and a week from Saturday it's supposed to start being in the 70s. So. That's. Um, let's hope it stays like that, because like that'll be ridiculous. Yeah. I am worried because the wind is the big thing um, in the desert, and at night time that. Wind is pretty chilly, isn't it? Yeah, it does get it's really chilly. It's a cold wind. It's not freezing cold, you know what I mean? But it's cold compared to what you've been used to through the day. Um, so I don't know. That's going to be something else that we've learned that we're going to have to be quite considerate to when we're making building stuff to make sure that things are, you know, like the doors not open on the side that we most frequently get wind and all that kind of thing you know which is all useful to know because sand's gonna blow in cold drafts are gonna blow in you know all these things are things that we've learned over the past few months that are really useful i think if a cold giraffe ever comes in i'm gonna lose my mind i'm gonna kill it you're gonna get your slingshot yeah i'm gonna (laughs) strangle it it's got enough neck yeah yeah 
Yeah. It's going to get these hands. <laughs> Wait. There we go. Uh, seriously, though, another big plus is we now have over 100 subs. <gasps> we do. Thank you, guys. We were going to do a video earlier in the week, and we had 102. And Zoe's like, what if we do the video and then lose subs and then people check and we only have like 97. <laughs> <laughs> Which is possible. And I also feel like because we've got some <clears throat> now, I'm like, oh God, like if you mention it, it's like, it's going to go. Like, just don't, don't, don't pay attention to it. Just like, yeah. just keep looking now and again and hope it's a bit. <laughs> so thank you so, so much to awesome. everybody who subscribed. Yeah. It's a huge big deal to us. It just means the world. This is like, I know we're silly and we mess around and stuff, yeah. but this is like a genuine, like life choice, you know, a lifestyle choice <clears throat> that we've made and we really, really, really are committed to making to work, aren't we? Making work. Yeah. And um, and all your support is a huge big difference. And just like being along with us makes us feel less lonely in it. Less alone, like, less stupid, less... I don't feel less stupid because we are pretty bad. you still feel stupid? Yeah, oh, we're pretty bad. But that's baby. Babe, I think it's you that's worse than me half the time. Whoa. I was joking. just being sweet to I you, know. and then you throw me into wolf town. I'm only joking. Like, <clears throat> I just feel like, yes, we we are pretty stupid, and we need to you learn me so much stuff. <laughs> are you trying to be cute after bad stuff you've said? No. Um, what was I going to say there? Like, it genuinely really helps just having the support, you know, and having people follow us along. It really, really makes the difference. It's so, like, just to be able to go, oh, crap, I don't know how to do this. Somebody will know what to do. And I honestly genuinely think as well that this isn't necessarily a really bad thing from a video point of view because there's a lot of people, like... All the videos we've watched, everybody seems so capable and knowing what they're doing and stuff. And it's quite nice to have <clears> people, like, I'm sure I would have felt better if there were videos out there of people who really don't know what they're doing. And, and they're who just trying stuff. Just trying and genuinely want to learn, you know? Because that's yeah. us. Like, <clears> we're silly about stuff and we laugh about things. Well, because we, we talk about it. Learn. Like, there's channels we watch and stuff, and we're like, I wonder how many times they had to do that before they got it right. Yeah, and they're so like, but they don't show that. They're no. just super like proficient at yeah. it. And you're like, hmm. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. They genuinely know what they're doing. But we're no, like, yeah, what like, the hell does that do? Yeah, I mean. Like, how do you do that? And we started this channel in May. Might have been the beginning of June because we came here on this. Oh, might well, have been well no, because we had, we had videos oh, in, yeah, in yeah. Big Bear. Yeah, we did. So, um. It's pretty awesome that we hit 100 already. It really is. We're so thankful to everybody. It means the world. Like, there's a part of us that honestly just thought, like, our friends and family would be watching this just so they wouldn't have to come visit. <laughs> but, but like, they could, like, make sure we're not dead. Yeah. Um, just to keep an eye on us. Yeah. From afar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I honestly don't even know whether that many people watch that much. They're just like, they're, at least they know we're here. So if they yeah. need to check in, go, oh, yeah, they're still alive. That's okay. For real. Um, so, yeah. So there's that, there's that. And then what Zoe was referring to a minute ago with me trying to make up for being naughty, which is just unnecessary. Mm. Um, if you are... Um, on our Patreon page, um, and any level of support, you get the weekly Waffle Ramble podcast. And it is a waffle, believe yeah, me. Yeah, where we just talk about whatever. Um, and, I'll, like, what, we're, what we've been doing now is asking, like, our patrons, like, what do you guys want to hear us talk about? And in the last episode... Somehow or another, we got on to dating and philosophy of dating and all sorts of other crap. You try and make it sound a lot better than it is. Yeah, apparently I put my foot in it a couple times. Love him to death. But it's the truth. 
Well, according to you. Well, yeah. But, um, so if you want to hear any of those podcasts, all of it's them are It's a lot of there. fun. It is fun. Yeah. It's like. We do that every week. Yeah. Just go, I think it's patreon.com slash blackstarhomestead. Yes. Or if you go to blackstarhomestead.com, there's a Patreon link. Um, and any amount you get the podcasts. So, um, that's fun. If that's not incentive enough, I don't know what is to hear us talking even more than we do already. If you guys want to spend another two hours with us a week and hear us talk about utter nonsense without the, um, censorship Uh that we have here on this family based channel, God damn it. Um, yeah, so there's that. Well, if you want to get to know us better. Yeah. You know? And, and we, I, will, we will be adding things to it as well. We're yeah. going to be doing more stuff, aren't we? I think we, the things? next episode we're going to do where we grew up in childhood memories. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Sweet. Sounds exciting, right? Yeah. Um, everyone's like, good God. Good God, please no. Can the coyotes up there just come and get them now? <laughs> just please take them. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. But, um, and so we'll do the hangout on Sunday. Yep. Oh! Wow. Really big news. I forgot to talk about it. For the first time ever, we were able to hold Fred down and cut his nails. We did. This is like huge news, guys. Like, dude, Fred just absolutely does not like it. Do you want to come up here and show everyone your nails, sexy? <laughs> no, he's Fred's not nails have been like little daggers, <sighs> and we thought with coming to the desert, we'd be able. To, he'd just naturally wear them down. We were and hoping he would wear them down in Big Bear, but they were always like they weren't like hook long. You no, know? they were just. Points. It was like Freddy Krueger, the dog. With and we understand this isn't a good thing. Yeah. But he is such a nervy dog. If you take his bandana off him, it's like you've taken away his superpower and he just collapses. And then he starts peeing on himself on and his himself. wiener comes out. Oh, God. It's really gross. So we've but... been putting this off for so long, hoping, because we thought he would he would just go nuts. And I don't want to subject a vet to that particularly because it's embarrassing and we were like we can do this we can do this so we tried come here fred let's show everyone your pretty nails come here good come boy on. see he's panicking now thinking oh god what's gonna go on <laughs> come on fred get in the picture jesus he goes like a he <sighs> i tricked him with salami look at those yeah good boy, good boy. you're so you got brave salami Yes. Yeah. He's such You're a good such boy. a brave dog. <laughs> Look at how terrified he I know. is. Seriously, he's terrified of everything. Yes. If you pee on the computer, Fred, you're oh, you're going look. in the pool. Look at them. They're so um, beautiful. Yeah. And we've got this like mat thing, this rug. And it's cause we're getting stuck in them and everything. We were like, this is ridiculous. He's no. licking his Peter right now. <laughs> That's what he does when he's frightened. He's very sensitive. He's a good anyway, boy. Um, but the, yeah, that was a huge thing. The thing that worked, Zoe was holding him in like some kind of wrestling hold, and I was underneath him. I used to be a vet it. nurse, guys. I know what I'm doing. I held him like how he should be. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. She tied his mouth shut first, and then had me put a sleeper hold on him. Well, because you didn't Shocker, want to cut his he nail. didn't like it. <laughs> of course he didn't like it, but you don't hold him properly. He was worried about him. So we gave gave that away in the end, and we didn't need it, did we? And he was yeah. just like, he just sat and let us do it. But As long as I was underneath him. The second I would get higher than him, he, he would start panicking. Yeah. So if you have a dog that doesn't like its nails cut, just stay below the dog. Like your head below the dog's head. I don't know if that's a good head. thing because that's a dominance thing. But maybe if you want the claws clipping, that's like a necessity. Yeah. And then give them salami. Yeah, he was very happy with the salami treat afterwards. Yeah. Oh, God. Still licking himself. He's like, oh, God. Oh, God. They're going to do something bad to me again. Yep. Well, so this was probably the most... Boring. Cool <laughs> weekly heat. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we will be 
hopefully finishing up the compost area this week and um you never know what else we're going to be doing yeah i might be doing something stupid am i right hmm you mm. just have to get better. I have to get not better. Right after all. It's I've getting been... darker and darker. We just oh, wanted I to... wanted to show you this too, since it's dark. I've be been reading see. this. John Seymour, Self Sufficient Life and How to Live It, The Complete Back to Basics Guide. This book's freaking awesome. We've had it for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been like another book to get to. And it's epic um yeah he's coming out with all sorts of fat bombs yeah uh -huh. and now i'm like questioning a lot of the ideas we had at the first place as far as like livestock which scares you but no. doesn't scare you but does scare it you. does but it doesn't i just think we're not going to be able to afford that for a while i, I think we need to get some kind of home base in place first like a house yeah okay so after the house then we need to concentrate she's on gonna it. be making some bacon all right oh, picky smalls yeah the notorious pig but um <laughs> kevin bacon i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it guys. but um i was after reading this i'm thinking a cow was a good thing I don't know how many people have cows that way here, babe. People who want cows. We'll definitely do research on it. Um, Not cows. A cow. Just cow. Yeah. Cow. We'll call it milky. Or cheesy udder. Gross. Or butterface. We'll come up with an awesome name. Or Elmer's. Wow. Yeah. No. No? All right, guys. Let us know down below. Sorry, we were a bit subdued. How stupid somebody is. <gasps> oh, I like the <laughs> thumb turn. <laughs> All right. So, talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Bye. Say bye, babe. Bye. I said say bye, babe. Bye, babe. Don't call them babe. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs>